What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the household once again for another virtual unveil. It seems that since the pandemic, you know, many manufacturers are using virtual unveils. We have adapted, assimilated, and asserted ourselves here at Rady's Rides to make sure that we're getting these media assets as fresh as we can from the OEMs so that we could bring to you these virtual unveils and then of course build that anticipation and excitement for when we see the car, SUV, truck or whatever it is in person at an auto show. What are we here for tonight? Some uh, Italian satisfaction. We are looking at the all new 2023 Alfa Romeo Tonale. So without further ado, let's Pull up that plate of spaghetti and meatballs and get right down to it. And there it is. That is your all-new Alfa Romeo Tonale. Now, let me give you a little history about the brand. Remember, this company from Milan, Italy started all the way back in 1910. And this vehicle, the Tonale, was first seen as a concept vehicle back in 2019. So it's been a few years to get to this point but we are here with Alfa Romeo, and I'm very happy to report a lot of the sexy body lines and features on the exterior have been brought over to the full production vehicle. Now you might be saying to yourself, well Joe, why do we have this Tonale? What about the Stelvio? The Stelvio will still be in the lineup, so will be the sedan, the Giulia. This Tonale actually slots in underneath the Stelvio. It's a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller. So what's the competition for basically this luxury subcompact crossover SUV? You're looking at brands like Mercedes-Benz, of course, with their GLA, Audi with the Q3, and BMW with the X1. That's the main competition. But looking at this excellent B-roll footage, from Alfa Romeo, you could see all of the seductive lines I was telling you about. I really think that they style the wheels so different from anybody else. Full LED lighting, LED headlights, daytime running lamps, and brake lamps as well. Look at how that signature lighting from left to right just really gives you that sense that you are behind something unique. Of course, probably one of the most iconic grill shapes in the whole auto industry that triangle that upside down triangle really carrying over to the lines the smaller lines of the tonali i love the red calipers the way that they did those um uh, telephone dial style wheels you got the interior all new on this tonali you got 12.3 inches smack dab right there in the center full digital display you're going to be getting of course the ability to go into your different modes and that's gonna change up the displays. You have the embroidery on the leather interior, that fine Italian leather. There's your different drive modes that you just select by twisting the knob just like you find in the Stelvio, in the Giulia. And then you'll notice that infotainment system, that's something different. That is actually all new. First time seen on this Alfa Romeo vehicle. It's a 10.25 inch infotainment system, but you're also getting Uconnect 5. So of course, Alfa Romeo being part of Stellantis, and within Stellantis, you have that Uconnect system that Dodge uses, Chrysler, so on and so forth. You're getting that technology. Look at the graphics on it with the different modes. Of course, it's full touchscreen capability. And remember, the Uconnect 5 is literally five times faster reacting than Uconnect 4. Seeing the Tonali go down the road, especially in this metallic blue color, looks so stunning. Stands out from the rest of the crowd. And I don't know about you, I'm not the biggest SUV guy, but that thing has some great looking lines, especially with the silver wheels. Thank you. It's nice to see some brands using something other than black. Black wheels, black wheels, black wheels. Nice to have the silver wheels, especially with those red calipers with the Alfa Romeo script on them popping out from behind. Let's talk about what the heck is powering this thing. Well, guess what? You're gonna get two engine choices. Two different engine choices. And for the first time, Alfa Romeo is inching into electrification. Now, before you say, hold on a second, 
I don't know if I'm ready for a full-out EV from Alfa Romeo. That's not what we got, but we got something really good. This is going to be available as a plug-in electric hybrid. The first Alfa Romeo ever to be plug-in electric hybrid. You're looking at, you'll have that Q4 all-wheel drive system. What's powering it? So if you go with the plug-in electric hybrid, you have that 1.3 liter inline four engine, which is going to be paired with an electric motor. That's going to give you 272 horsepower. It's using a lithium ion battery, which that's what you want to see. You want to see a brand moving away from the nickel metal hydride into the lithium ion world. And if you go pure full EV on one single charge, you're looking at around a little bit more than 30 miles on a single charge, pure EV, 272 horsepower. Now, the other engine option is for those that are a little bit more traditional, maybe a little bit more old school, so to speak, that's gonna be a two liter inline four turbocharged engine, made it to a nine speed automatic transmission, 256 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque. Now, looking at those horsepower numbers, obviously you're getting more power going with the plug-in electric hybrid, but information details is still really sparse on this. So very scarce on the details. It's gonna be interesting to see what is the transmission in that plug-in electric hybrid. How much torque is there? Those numbers are have not been released yet. Now I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, what about pricing? And I think that's gonna be a big thing. And that's probably the big question here is, you know, is it worth the price? What the estimates, what the guesstimizations are, is that it's going to start at around $32,000, MSRP of around $32,000, which does price it aggressively against the competition. Here we go. We went with the blue. Now we get a little bit of green. And I'm really digging that they gave us a roll footage of two colors, especially two striking colors, the blue and the green. Let me know which colors so far you like when it comes to this Tenali, and I, I just like the name, Tenali. It's like a hot Tenali. That's what it is, just like the concept car. So what are some other things you got going on? This is the first vehicle to feature an NFT digital certificate. So something interesting that they're doing to hold residual value, uh, that NFT digital certificate is going to collect data on how the vehicle is used, and I guess that's gonna play out some kind of role on what the value of the vehicle is down the road. Let me know how you feel about that. That kind of took me off guard. I was like, that's literally how I was. Lori asked me if, if I was having some kind of problem, physical problem, or maybe even a mental problem. But that's what happened to me when I read that. I was like, NFT digital certificate. So that's something that comes with it. We talked about the Uconnect 5, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I'm so glad they took that route because there are some brands that are doing these redesigns and guess what? They're leaving out the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you've never used it, wait until you try a vehicle that has it. You're never going to want to go back. Once you go wireless, you never want to go back to wired. You're going to have the Amazon Alexa Assistant. Hey, Amazon. Hey, Alexa. Send me something in the mail. And they'll send you something in the mail. Um, you're also going to be having an all-new suspension system. So it's going to use this frequency selective damping. Of all four corners, that's going to allow you to have that sporty ride, but also be able to tune it for comfort as well. And I think that's where, you know, Alfa Romeo is really working on the chassis settings, the suspension settings, to really give you that unique Italian flavor of drive, like your favorite pasta sauce. But what it's also going to do is, is not only allow this Tenale to go through the twisty bits, but also be able to give you that comfort on an everyday single basis. Looking at the interior, I saw a forward-facing camera. Look at how they have the Italian tricolore on the mirror caps, but looking at the interior, all new, fresh, the seats, the steering wheel, the infotainment system. And then what about trims? You're probably saying, well, Joe, what, what about trims? There's gonna be three. Sprint is gonna be your entry level, TI, and then Veloce. No word yet on a Quadrifolio. Please, Alfa Romeo. I know we're moving towards electrification, but give us a Quadrifolio with that twin, twin turbo V. Can you imagine this thing with a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 that pumps out 500 horsepower? Um, 
sign me up. Now, availability, it's going to be available late this year. So late 2022, but it is a 2023 model year vehicle that they're bringing. So crazy to see Alfa Romeo using some plug-in electric hybrid technology. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. You know, the masterminds within the car world, like I said, are saying around $32,000 starting. No official pricing yet, but that's going to be more information that we're going to be getting directly from Alfa Romeo right in Italy sent to us here at Radies Ride so that we can get through the information and then bring it to you. But definitely, I'm looking forward to going on throttle in this vehicle, whether it be plug-in electric hybrid or whether it be the full internal combustion engine with the turbocharger on it. I think both are going to provide a very unique driving experience that's going to be quite different from one another. And I'm okay with that because I really think that plug-in electric hybrid for the time being is really the way to go instead of going full EV. Because like I said, as the world moves towards electrification, there's going to be a lot of changes that need to happen. And a lot of people need to have access to that technology. And this is one way to do it in a little bit kind of like baby step kind of way. But let me know how you feel about this. All of the things that we talked about, the colors, the engine options, the pricing, the, the estimated pricing, and what else is coming with it. And let me know what you think is missing. Should they have gone something like a quadrifolio or something like that? Let me know in that section. But I definitely want to thank Nick and everybody over at Alfa Romeo for their excellent support and for getting us this information so that we could bring it to you. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content, whether we're outside, inside, underground, in a tunnel, or swimming in the water, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. There's the Radies Rise uh, bathing suit on there for when you are swimming in the pool. Got to give it up to the champ of the year, the champ of the videography camera world, Lori, working it like a champ. Show us some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.